السلام علیکم وعلیکم السلام یہ ہم ڈسکسنگ حدیث نمبر 1894 اف صحیح البخاری در کتاب الصوم باب فضل الصوم سو ہم ڈسکسنگ دا شرح دا ایکسپلینیشن اس گیون ان دا فتح الباری بائی امام ابن حجر الاسقلانی نو دا شرح اس نوٹ کمپلیٹڈ اٹ کنٹینیوس ان بیفور دیٹ یو سی دا حدیث ونس مور عن أبي هريرة رضي الله عنه أن رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم قال الصيام جنة فلا يرفس ولا يجهل وإن يمره قاتله أو شاتمه فليقل إني صائم مرة والذي نفسي بيهده لهلوف فم الصائم أطيب عند الله أطيب عند الله تعالى من ريح المسك فاسٹنگ از اے شیلڈ اور اسکرین اور اے شیلٹر So the person observing fasting should avoid sexual intercourse and obscene acts and should, no, should not behave foolish, foolishly and impudently. And, impudently. Yeah. and if somebody fights with him or abuses him, yes. he's... Uh, you should say what? I am fasting. Twice. Yes. دی پروفٹ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم آڈڈ بائی ہی مین ہوس ہینڈس مائی سول از مائی سول مائی سول مائی نفس از دیٹ مینس بائی اللہ اللہ والذی نفسی بیدی دن دی سمیل کامنگ آؤٹ آف کامنگ آؤٹ فرام دی ماؤت آف اے فاسٹنگ پرسن از بیٹر دین دی سمیل آف اے ماسک یس Allah says about the fasting person. He has left his food, drink, desserts for me. The fast is for me. I will reward for you. For that, for him. والحسرة بأشد أمزالها reward of good deeds is multiplied ten times yes شرح continues قوله ولا يرفث ولا يرفث means what it includes all vicious acts sexual intercourse for place before the sexual intercourse sexual talks with the women or men and women talking to the Uh, regarding sex like that uh, and all these should be avoided by the fasting person that is the meaning of fala yarfus fala yarfus he should not indulge in any obscene acts obscene acts or sexual intercourse like that qawlu wa la yajhal ay la yaf'al shay'an min af'ali ahli al-jahl ka suyahi wa safahi wa nahmi dhalik the meaning of wa la yajhal that means it includes all foolish and silly acts and making cows A fasting person should avoid all these things. Then, in one report of Sa'id bin Mansur, there is, And he should not, he should avoid all obscene acts, evil deeds, sexual intercourse. And also, he should, he should not indulge in any disputes. Jadala means? Dispute. Disputed. ڈسپیوٹڈ قال قرطبی لا افحام من هذا ان غیر الصوم یباح فیه ما ذکرا 
مادوکیرا و این نما المراد ان المن ان ذالک یتأکدو بالصوم that is امام قرطبی explains that the hadith does not give license to evil deeds during non-fasting occasions so during fasting it is prohibited that means it is prohibited in other times too still the prohibition is more emphasized during the fasting days okay eh? more stress is given to the prohibition during fasting time on other occasions too we should not indulge in any rafas or uh, we should not do evil deeds on non fasting days also but during fasting days it is the prohibition is more emphasized okay the stress is given here eh, during fasting days qawluhu wa in imru'un shatamahu qatalahu aw shatamahu there in different reports the wording is different when imru'un qatalahu aw shatamahu and if somebody fights with him that is somebody if somebody comes and fights with him uh, with the fasting person or abuses him that report in ibn khuzaimah's report it is like this fa in sabaka ahadun fa qul inni sa'im wa in kunta qa'iman fajlis that is in ibn khuzaimah's report it is like this fa in sabaka ahadun if anyone abuses you if anyone abuses if anyone scolds you then fa qul then you say inni sa'im i am fasting wa in kunta qa'iman and if you are in a standing position if you are in a standing posi position then fajris then you should sit you should down. sit down it is you uh, to <coughs> cool down anger eh? one should say bismi a'udhu billahi minash shaitan rajeem then if uh, if he is in, in a standing position he should sit down if he is in a sitting position he should lay down okay like that then if after that even after that his anger is not cooled down eh? then he should take wudu then his adrenaline eh? will be lessened and he will be cooled eh? he will be uh, cooled down that is his anger will go okay eh? like that here in kunta qaiman so if one abuses us <coughs> there will be we will be provoked usually naturally we will be provoked then we will have a tendency to fight with him or to uh, abuse the person too okay then we should control it ourselves so if we are in a standing position we should sit down we should sit down okay follow then <coughs> no in all the reports it is recorded that the person fasting should say inni swaim suddenly i have fasting so in some report it is twi twice while in other reports it is only once eh? so in muttafaq al riwayat kulluha ala annahu yaqul inni saib fa minhum man dhakaraha marratain in some reports it is there two times the person should say two times inni saib i am fasting i have fasting in some reports some reporters has given have given the uh, it is like this inni sa'ibun maratan wahida that is once only eh? like that inni sa'ibun maratan wahida now here what is the intention the intention is that the person who fast should not reply in the same way as the other person who abuses or scolds or attacks him hmm? he should not do he should not behave uh, just like the other person eh? he is fasting so he should control himself eh? okay he should abstain from physically attacking the other person or scolding or abusing the other person eh? even if in retaliation now you see there are differences of opinion among the scholars as to whether the fasting person should utter the words ni swaimun or he should say it in mind 
the difference it is وقت وقت طلف في المراد بقوله فليقل اني صائم فليقل اني صائم he should say اني صائم i have fasting or i am fasting eh? then what is the intention behind this hadith eh? or هل يحاطب بها الذي يكلمه بذلك أو يقولها في نفسه should the person say orally that is should the person utter with his tongue to the person who abuses him that إني صائم I am fasting or I have fasting should he say should the fasting person should say it with his tongue or utter with his tongue or should he say in his mind eh? in mind okay eh? there are difference of opinion regarding this subject now wa bi thani jazam al mutawalli wa naqahu al rafi' an al a'imma wa rajjaha an nabawi al awwal fi al adhkar now the second opinion that is which is the second opinion it is to say in mind eh? to say in mind that is quoted by Rafi'i from Imams. وَرَجَّهَ النَّوَوِيُّ الْأَوَّلَ فِي الْأَذْكَارِ Now Imam Nawawi Riyallahu Anhu Rahmatullahi Alayhi He confirms or prefers the first view. That is, which is the first view? The person fasting should say إِنِّي سَعِمُنْ With his tongue. That is the first view. So that view is preferred by Imam Nawawi in his Adhkar. وقال في شرح المحذب كل منهما حسن والقول باللسان أقوى ولو جمعهما لكان حسنة ولهذا التردد أطرب حالي في ترجمة الفرسد نو إمام نبوي أسبلينس إن هش شرح المحذب شرح المحذب إستا شرح أرد أسبلينتري بوك عن صحيح مسلم ينو صحيح البخاري إستا صحيح مسلم إستا صحيح بخاري He has got so many explanatory books. So many explanatory books are written about this Sahih al-Bukhari. On this Sahih al-Bukhari. Imam Ibn Hadr al-Asqalani's Fatuh al-Bari is one of the prominent or one of the important Sharah Kit. Okay. Of Sahih al-Bukhari. Like that. For Sahih Muslim too, there are so many explanatory books. Sharah al-Muhadab is Sharah al-Muhadab by Imam Nawawi is one of the Sharah kitabs or explanatory books of Sahih Muslim. Vyakkiyana Grandana. Nusrayla. Then, in Sharah al-Muhadab, Imam Nawawi says that Kullam min huma hasan. Both are good. That is, saying with the tongue and in mind. Wal qawlu bil lisan yaqwa and Saying or uttering with the tongue will be more strong. وَلَوْ جَمَعَهُمَا لَكَنَا حَسَنَا If both occur, if both combined, then it will be better. Okay, it will be better. That is, one should say in mind and one should utter with the tongue, both. Then it will be better. That is the view of Imam Nawabi رضي الله عنه. Then, وقال الرويانِ إن كان رمضان فليقل بلسانه وإن كان غيره فليقله في نفسه ودع ابن العربي أن موضع الخلاف في التطوع وأما في الفض فيقوله بلسانه قطع نو رويانِ says if it is رمضان he should say with the tongue and if it is non رمضان days fasting this نفل fasting then he should say in his mind that is the view of Ruyani now Ibn al-Arabi advocates that is he says that anna mawli al-khilaf fi tatawwi whether the person fasting should say in mind or with the tongue the difference of opinion regarding this subject is regarding nafil fasting and not about obligatory fasting regarding obligatory fasting that is Ramadan fasting Ramadan fasting is Compulsory fasting, we know. So regarding compulsory fasting, it is confirmed that 
one should say with his tongue or utter with his tongue. It is the view of Imam uh, Ibn al-Arabi. Okay. Imam Sarkashi holds that the repetition of the words inni swa imun, I have fasting means that once it should be said in mind and once it should be pronounced with the tongue. That is the view of Imam Sarkashi. So Imam Sarkashi says Wanakala Zarkashi Anal Murad bi Kaulihi Falyakul in ni swa imun marratain Yakuluhu Marratam bi kalbihi Amaratam bilisani. So, mar, inni so even marratin. Inni so even, he should say marratin. Dandadavana. Two times, twice. So, it means that, Imam Zarkashi say, it means that once he should say in his mind, and the other second time he should say his tongue. with his tongue. That is the view of Imam Zarkashi. Zarkash. Okay. No, saying mind will prevent the person in engaging in silly disputes with the opponent. So, when he says in his mind, he will be mentally prepared. Okay? To be cool down, to cool down. When he say in his mind, man, means, it means that he is mentally prepared. Not to prov he will not be provoked. So, both should be there. Okay. Eh? First in his mind, the, then itself, eh? he will be prevented from acting violently eh? with his uh, with, with his hands or like that, eh? attacking the person who scolds or abuses him. He will uh, he will be cool. Uh, he will be cooled down. Okay. Now. وَفَائِدَ تَقَوْلِهِ إِنِّي صَائِمٌ أَنَّهُ يُمْكِنُ أَنْ يَكُفَّ عَنْهُ بِذَارِكَ فَإِنَّا صَرَّ دَفَعْهُ بِالْأَخَفْ فَالْأَخَفُ كَالصَّائِلِ هَذَا Then, now, pronouncing or uttering with the tongue, by the tongue, by the fasting person itself may prevent the opponent from attacking him. So, if the person say, إِنِّي صَائِمٌ Then the other person may go. Eh? He will not continue his attack or abuse. Eh? Most of the persons, most of the people will go. Okay. Will stop there itself. Then, if, for inna sarra, then even after that, even after saying inni so imun, eh? the person continued attacks or abuses. The fa'ahu bil akhaf. He may, that is the fasting person may uh, prevent him lightly. In a lighter way, eh? light, lightly. Now, for Muradu min al Hadith, and who la yo amilihu, be misli amelihi, bellakatasiru ala kaulihi in ni so im. The idea contained in the Hadith is that the fasting person is expected not to be the like of the other person who abuses him. Eh? He should be in a higher position. Eh? Okay. Then, so he should keep away from uh, the other person from attacking the other person by saying inni swaim. Eh? So that itself may prevent the other person from uh, doing further attacks or abusing the person who is fasting. Okay. Hmm? Now, now the nafsi biyadhi. لا خلوف فم الصائم. That means by whom in whose hands my nafs, my soul is. That means Wallahi by Allah. Okay. Now there are reports لا خلوف and لا خلوف. Two reports are there. Two reports لا خلوف and لا خلوف. That is. قال قياض هذه هذه الرواية الصحيحة وبعض الشيوخ يقوله بفتح الخاء. Some sheikhs have 
predators as la khalufu riyad says that la khalufu is the correct reading qala al khattabi wa huwa khata khattabi says that la khalufu is incorrect wa hakak al qabisi al wajhin al qabisi he holds that he quotes both the reports both the reading that is la khalufu and la khulufu wa balagha an nabawi fi sharh al muhadhab wa qala la yajuz fatuh al khat imam nabawi says in his sharh al muhadhab that la khalufu will not be okay la khulufu is correct wa hatta ghayruhu li dhalik bi anna al masadir allati ja'al then regarding the explanation of the words atyabu indallahi min dihi al misk better than that is the smell coming out of the mouth of the fasting person that will be better in the sight of allah than the smell of musk atyabu indallahi min dihi al misk what is the explanation or regarding the explanation of these words of the hadith eh? there are difference of a wide variety of a wide range of difference of opinion among the uh, scholars that is smell is the quality or property connected to the animals it is not connected with allah eh? hence see قوله اطيب عند الله من ذي المس اختلف في قول الخلوف اطيب عند الله من ذي المس ما انه سبحانه وتعالى منزه عن استطابه الربائح اذا ذلك من صفات الحيوان سو سمل از ون اوف ذا بروبرتيز اور اتريبيوتس اوف ذا انيملز ات از نوت ان اتريبيوت اوف الله ات از نوت ا كواليتي اوف الله وما انه يعلم الشيء على ما هو عليه على اوجه قال المازري ذن Imam Maziri says that huwa majazun here the words used is in a metaphorical sense simply as majazi that is alangarika prayon manaka it is in a metaphorical sense li annahu jarat al ad bi taqrib al rawaih an tayyib minna fa stughira dhalika lis sawm li taqribi min allah fal ma'na annahu atib inda allah min dihi al misk indakum ay yuqarrabu ilayhi akthara min taqrib al misk مسكي اليكم والى ذلك اشار ابن عبد البر وقيل المراد ان ذلك في حق الملائكه انهم يستطيبون ريح الخلوف اكثر مما تستطيبون ريح المسك نو ات مينز ذات ات از بيتر ان ذا سايت اوف الله ذان ذا سمل اوف ماسك فور يو مان فور يو بيبل ذا سمل اوف ماسك از فور يو بيبل فيري جود so it is better than the smell of uh, musk in your case in uh, for you people okay eh? now it is also said that the angels love the smell of the mouth of the fasting person than the smell of the uh, musk okay eh? now it is also said that the smell of the mouth of the fasting person and the smell of the musk just two opposites in the sights of allah as to what men feel here in this world eh? then here the intention is that the fasting person will be rewarded sufficiently from allah subhanahu wa taala by allah eh? and then he will be he will uh, feeling in the hereafter he will feel in the hereafter that the smell of his mouth as a result of his fasting in this world better than the smell of musk here eh? there in the hereafter he will feel better eh? he, feel, he will feel that the smell he uh, the smell he had or his mouth had eh? that will be felt better than the smell of musk in the hereafter he will be feeling better in the hereafter okay This is like the experience of a wounded person in the course of Allah, and where his wound, wound in the course of Allah eh? during jihad, eh? okay, 
in the course of Allah, a wounded person, his wound, it will be uh, more, he will feel, the wounded person feel better with this wound uh, in the hereafter. The smell of the wound will be better for him or the smell of the wound will be just like the smell of musk in the hereafter for the wounded person in the course of Allah. Okay. Uh, then. A fasting person will be rewarded better than the smell of musk. That is his meant. Eh? And both these views have been quoted by Iyam. No. So all, no, another report is that, uh, another view is that all the worships or ibadat or amal to Allah will have a good smell in the hereafter. In the akhirah, all the ibadat will have a good smell. And the smell of the fasting will be like that of musk. Okay, follow. Now in some reports we see Atiyabu and Allah Yawmal Qiyamah better than the smell of musk on the day of judgment. Eh? Ah, that is so because of these reports, some say that this feeling of the fasting person eh, or the hadith is about the feeling or the experience of the fasting person in the hereafter on the day of judgment. Okay. Eh? And some other ulama says that it will be here and in the hereafter. He will feel here and in the hereafter. During the evenings of fasting days, the smell of the fasting person will be better than the smell of musk in the sight of Allah. So according to Ibn Abdul Salam, it is just like the case of blood of martyr or shaheed in the course of Allah and it happens in the hereafter. He takes the report of the words at in the Allahi yawm al Better than the smell of musk on the day of judgment. Eh? Now, but Ibn Salah holds that it happens here too. And this view is shared by most of the scholars. And it is most of the scholars' view is like that. Eh? Here also and in the hereafter. Okay. Now, as per the views of the different Imams, the better smell in the sight of Allah refers to the Rila. Satisfaction, kabooliyat, tazkiyat, and praise upon the fasting person by Allah. So, all these are meant here. Eh? Okay. Now, as there is on the day of judgment in some reports, atibu in the Allahi yawm al qiyamah. So, it indicates that as it is the day of recompense, yawm al qiyamah, yawm al din. Okay. Yamuddin, day of recompense, day of rewards, eh? then the smell of the mouth of the fasting person will weigh in the mizan. It will weigh in the mizan. Mizan, you know, eh? good deeds and bad deeds will be weighed in the eh? mizan. Okay. Eh? Then, then the uh, fasting person's smell of the mouth, smell of the mouth of the fasting person will weigh in the mizan than the weight of the musk which is used to prevent foul smells here in this world. Eh? Then, anyhow, the superiority of the fasting person in both the worlds, that is in dunya and in akhirah, is confirmed from different reports. Now, it is as Allah said in Surah Adiyat, Adiyat, Surah Adiyat, Inna rabbahum bihim yawma khabir Verily, that day their Lord will be well acquainted with them. So that day, verily, certainly, the Lord, Rabb, will be well acquainted with them. So on all days, Allah will be well acquainted with the, the people, with the actions of the people. But here, the stress is given to Yawm al Qiyamah. Eh? Like that in the case of fasting. Okay. So this much for today. Asalaamu Alaikum.